Hey, right, hello everyone, and welcome back to the NR2003 2014 Championship Mode. Today we'll be doing Auto Club for the Auto Club 400. Right now, Jimmy Johnson is the points leader, and only by a little bit over Kyle Busch. Last week, Jimmy Johnson got his first victory of 2014 or in the championship mode. Also, it, he got Chevy their second win. It is the, so far, the only manufacturer with more than one win. We've had four different drivers winning a race. Right now, the lowest in points on a driver that won so far is Brad Keselowski. He is 10th right now, tied with Greg Biffle. And Jeff Gordon is tied with 8th with Casey Kane. And the next driver in front of them is Dale Jr. And they're like 56 points back from him. Wait, no. 26 back. I'm freaking dumb. Anyways. So, right, so. Who's going to be, be. We're about to find out what's going to happen in this race. Let's hope it's a good one. I just pressed continue. So, Pem and LT, you can now talk. Oh, let's do this race on the way. I think LT just uh, ignored the epilepsy warnings. <laughs> sure about that? Having a, have, <laughs> you're having a seizure. All right. All right. So what we're gonna do is after wow, each man, row, okay. we're gonna like name each oh, row at a time. I'm gonna name the first row. Then it's gonna be Pam. Then LT. Is that fine? Uh, sure. That is totally fine. Why is your number number sixty nine? It's Ken Squire, my guy. Okay, Kyle Busch gets the pole. Kevin Harvick starting right next to him. Right next up. Yes. All right, we've got the guy who start. Oh, who uh, spied on his family, Greg Biff, and Denny Ramlin. Then we have Clint Moyer, Mr. Spinget, and Jimmy. If you hit that bag one more time, I will come back there and blast your head off. And Jimmy Johnson. <laughs> and then you got Carl Edwards and Matt Kenzie right next to those. The greatest driver of all time in this place. And then um, Shrek Jr. You got the rest of the Hendrick gang. Casey Kane and Dale Earnhardt Jr. Joe Logano, Kurt Busch, Brad Kozlowski, Kyle Larson, Ryan Newman, Paul Menard, Danica Patrick, and AJ. So let's talk about some surpri surprises that qualified in the back. Other than Ken Squire. Look at that 43rd place qualifier. Place qualifier. Wow. AJ, We're 6 of points, qualifying 20th. That's not good. <laughs> And then let's talk about some others. Rookie Austin Dillon starting 22nd. Right now, the Rookie of the Year award is not really in a tight battle in points. Austin Dillon has not had any good races so far this season. Kyle Larson has. Kyle Larson sometimes doesn't have the finish to show that he really does have the best car. Phoenix shows that. Him and Brad Kozlowski died with like three laps to go when Jeff Gordon was leading. But, you know, Ken Squire is, gonna, is the last guy that has gotten on the racetrack. Ken Squire get on the track for Alright, now. Start your engine! Start your engine! That was a better command in the game. LC, yep. why are you being extra today? Alright. Oh! Oh no! What happened? What happened? Who's out? Kyle Bush! W. He just. He noped out. He's out! No! Again. That depends. Will you keep these clips in the video? Yes, but I'm just gonna restart the race session. Can we restart the race session? Yeah, can I do the driver start your engine stand again? I don't know who died. But they... Kyle Bush literally just disappeared. Yeah, he blew an engine before the race started. It happens sometimes. Could, could, is it fine if we restart Pep? No, he's out. But Biffle's not even getting up there. Biffle, come um, on! No, just wait till they get near the start finish line. No, it's going right. out. Oh. Tough break for Kyle Busch already. Out of the race. That I have not seen that happen this season. He noped out. I can only do something. Let's hope next week will be Kyle Busch's week. Looks like that points battle. Oh, come on! Oh, he oh he's slowing, ain't he? I don't know. Oh, he's going. Getting ready for the green flag. Race cars getting ready to go off. 50 laps for today. We're going to see 
Yeah, different yeah, strategies these guys are going to pull, and how, and will they survive on this green flag? We're about to find out. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Green flag. Here we go. Green flag. We're racing in the worst state in the United States. Out of three, one. They're already getting three wide. There's three wide from Steve right now. Four wide, almost five wide back there. Oh, they're my wreck. He made it. Carl Edwards is going to lead the first lap. They're like five wide and roll the pack. Oh, no. Oh, they're big and wide. Just like Yelty's mom. <laughs> Oh! 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 Now I'm back to Meltalis, no he doesn't even exist, I can't even see her. My brain's really sucked right now. Hopefully your game doesn't crash so I get to defeat it. Oh yeah. That race was looking freaking amazing. Jar Logano to the inside! Jar Logano, squiddy ass! Who's that? Who's that? Casey Kane jumping up in line in front of Hamlin. We're gonna have to be in this game, right? Dan Kirkpatrick is at the third. Guys, she's up to third. Huh? Dan Kirkpatrick's up to third. Impossible. Understandable. Look at Brian Berger's getting taken three wide by Ambrose and Carl Edwards. Austin Dillon now going to the inside, following Kyle Larson. I know, Joe Logano, so far has led the most laps today. But... Dream. Look a little bit in the farther back. Greg Biffle, who was leading the inside. Really, Kevin Harvick, who kind of won the pole, say, it's our second. He's now down to 22nd. That's a depression. I guess the back of the field is closing on the Kevin yeah. Clover. All right, let's talk about some back markers back here. Uh, did Ryan Scott just have to go? Um, right now, Trevor Bain is leading this field of back markers right now in 27. The front of the field's really starting to get away here. That's really because these guys back here don't have any speed. AJ, 26. And six in points. Oh, he's running up way up against that wall. Not really though. Maybe some of these guys back here are saving their tires. I mean, like, with these guys out front, they're clearly not. Doing it. They're very close to the wall right now. Oh, almost four wide back there. Danica's at the second. That's not good. Time for the big one. Certified uh, Thandika Patrick moment inbound. We're about to find out. Will she wreck herself trying to wreck someone else, or will she just wreck herself? I don't know. Maybe she'll hang on to it. This track ah. isn't too terribly difficult. Her Bane not getting back up there. From her brain. He doesn't have one. Casey Mir is now looking for 28th on David Reagan right now. What an exciting battle. You don't know, look at that run that David Reagan got. He has no chance. Who's that behind him? Uh, that's Jeff that? Burton. Interesting. Mike, Mike Walker so has not made a start so far. Kind of depressing. I hope he doesn't. Uh, we have sent our, uh, our pit yes. reporter, LT. Um, down to the pit box of Danica Patrick. Um, and we're hearing there might be some troubles over the radio, LT. LT? I think he died. LT? Oh my god, Trix is another leader. There might have been some more problems in the, in the 10 pit that I, uh, I didn't see coming. Um. Yeah, she was up to second. Now down to frickin'. 
almost in the, outside the top ten. Yeah, she's down to eight. Martin Truex Jr. is now your leader. Jimmy Johnson right next to him. Two two ten. Joe Ligano is going to get around him, but now here comes Jimmy Johnson. We'll take that second spot away. We have a bunch of Chevrolets up front with the one Ford. But, I mean, if you look at positions, uh, what is that, second through about seventh place around there, maybe? All Chevrolets. So, most mostly Chevys out here up front. Correct and Logano dead dead tied basically over the start last time. But not anymore. Trex out out front. Logano trying to get the moment off the corner, but the tires have not wear that much to where that's gonna happen. He is duking it out for third right now. Kurt Bush, the best guy at Stuart Haas right now, in fifth. By a lot too, his teammates are nowhere to be seen. The best out on his team right second best is right now Danica Patrick. And she is falling outside the top 10. It looks like she might have abused herself early. The team owner right now is the worst right now, running at 26 behind Alma Roll. You guys can hear the game fine, right? This isn't a game, this is a race. It's a difference. Anyway, Matt Kenseth uh, trying to hold on. Hold on, I got Matt in front of me. Starting to drive away now. Here comes June Bug on the June bottom. Bug. I think LT might have returned from the 10 pit. <laughs> That's a lot of boo. LT, we uh we sent you down to uh, Danica Patrick's pit box because we heard there was some trouble over the radio. Um, yeah. Um, did you gather? Well, um, I gathered some crucial information. Um, she was basically complaining that the car wasn't handling right, and um. Yeah, for spotter said we'll try to work on it. But probably isn't the car, it's probably just a driver more than likely. So Okay, uh, understandable, understandable. Well thank you for the uh the report there on the ten. Anyway, we're up to fifth now. Right on fourth. Right now the best toy on the field is Clint Boyer. He is sitting twenty second in points right now. Has not had that spectacular of a season, but Bristol, he starts showing that he has the speed. But sadly, he didn't have the finish to show it as he got involved in the big one in the race. Right now, we're seeing that the middle lane is starting to become the dominant lane as Junebug is now getting ready to pass Joy Logano. Well, I mean, it's not the dominant lane, but most cars are now starting to run the middle lane. Nobody's trying to run right up against the wall or right up against the line. Rick's making it almost oh, trying to look pretty really wide. Logano's going to have the momentum on the corner. Now Boyer's getting help. A big push from her push. Look at through the field. Jeff Gordon now. Moving his way to the field. Let's talk about Marcus Ambrose now in the top 10. No, he's not in the top 10. Oh. But no, he is in the top 10. Ryan Newman trying to bring back, trying to fix the season after a horrible few, first few races. He is right now outside the top 15, but he's slowly making his way up there. My little brother is currently strangling a fan. Dang. Why did you let your little brother in the booth? Oh, I did. I just let him down there in the grass as to get interviews, but he's kind of wilding down there. What kind of fan, though? Electrical fan? Um, uh, I don't know, but he's strangling it. Oh my. Dave Blaney, in his first start so far this season, in 41st right now, but he's ahead of Kyle Busch. So, I guess there's that. Um, you got... My boy Joe Nemechek, 39th right now. This is his first start of the season, I think. So he's been trying to keep the car clean. Let's see who will be the back markers. Michael McDowell. I lost after a really great run at Bristol. He finished in the tie of the top 20 there. He's running 
outside the top 30 right now, 31st. The next car ahead of him is David Reagan. Current entering turn two, he's just in the middle. Back up here with the main pack right now, Tony Stewart. Really kind of the last guy in the pack. 26 cars are still in contention to get the dub. Coming to lap 19 out of 50. We have five cars all underneath a blanket right now. So LT, is there any word on any driver so far that is not like in the car or? Uh, Kevin Harvick, he's been playing a lot on the radio. He is. I don't, I don't think since we're gonna um, help that one. So, like, what, what, what's wrong with him then? I, I don't know. He's saying the car might be broken or something. He say feels just slow, really ill handling. Mainly because he's trying to make a move on the bottom. And the tires are getting to the point of where the high side is starting to become better and better. Kurt Busch now outside the top 10 right now. He's six. He's still the best Stuart Haas guy. But not by much. His teammate is right behind him. Hold on one second. I gotta take care of something. <laughs> you gotta stop. I, know. You I think there's a fight going on in the back of the booth right now. We don't care. It's auto club. Nobody cares. I, no, it's California. <laughs> no, it, it's the same thing. It's it's we're in California. It's auto club to track. Rookie Kyle Arson in fifteenth right now. He's out, right now getting outrun by Austin Dillon. Also a rookie. Yeah. And rookie of the year award could get interesting if Austin Dillon gets his stuff together. We'll see. Although Kyle Larson's really been moving up to the field, and we know how good he is at this point. Yeah, he finished. He got the dub at Xfinity at this racetrack. You know, with Kyle Busch. Speaking of Kyle, uh, no, no, he. Yep, because he didn't even make it off the grid before he blew up. I think it'll be an interesting interview after the race. Speaking of which, uh, when we get LT back, we'll send him down there to uh, go interview Kyle Busch uh, and see how he's feeling. Uh, he's down. Ryan Vicker is now falling out to the top 10 slowly. Matt Kenseth is now in the top 10. Let's talk about Paul Menard. Oh my goodness. He just about turned the nine right there. Could have been disastrous. Richard Hill's racing has had a really solid day so far. I agree. All, all three other cars are inside the top 15 right now. Michael Walter is not having a bad day either. Yeah. I mean, other than the 66, which is on Michael Walter Racing, the 55 and the 15 are running really well right now. 55, they're both their cars are inside the top 10. Well, not all of them, but the three best guys on the team are running inside the two. You got an underfunded team, really under, an underdog team, Furniture Real Racing. Only has one recorded win in the Cup Series right now. Drifts out trying to make it two. We'll find out if he can. He's definitely trying. Being a Martin Truex, he only has two career wins um, at uh, this point, 2014. Only two career wins. Uh, one of them came last season, though, so we'll see how well he does this season. He's got a road course, and now at a two mile track, him running in third. And he had his old teammate right behind him. And speaking of his old teammate, he tried to get him in the playoffs last year. And spawned himself out trying to pay a caution. And sadly, Trix got a penalty with Brutus championship over, even though. Oh, uh, no. Really Help. Get, of get off me. Get off me. Uh, LT's getting assaulted. No. S sit down. Sit down. Bat. Down. L LT's down. getting assaulted by the, uh, the skin okay, so that goes by the delivery. Down. First down. hundred guys so far is Casey Kane, and even though he's not get running the belt. too bad, and 13th right now, almost turning Brian Emmett. Brian Kozlowski has been running awful right now. And Danny then Danny Hamlin. Hamlin. 18th and 19th, respectively. And Tennis, after Kevin his Harvick ball, in the back as well. <laughs> Kurt Busch! Oh, oh no. no. No, down. He's in down. He's gonna be 26. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Oh. Sit down or you're not swag. 
Sit down and get outside. Well, let's talk about Ricky Sanders Jr. right now. He, after his rookie season in 2013, which was kind of a mediocre one for a driver that everyone was hyping up, right now, he's running 20th right now. Not a fantastic day, but after a solid run at Bristol, I think he's just trying to... Oh, oh, we got a oh Casey Kane! Oh, that's Casey so Kane. L. Oh. His car overheated just like he does. What a shame. Well, there goes one of the Hendrick cars. I wonder what all the other Hendrick drivers are thinking about their engines. They sweat bullets right now. Well, Dale Jr. certainly hopes his engine doesn't fail because the he's in the shot of the win today. Here he goes for the lead. Junior's gonna take it. Yes, he will. You know, Hendrick has had a solid day. Jimmy Johnson not really having that spectacular of a day after his first race win at Bristol. Jeff Morton getting the victory at Phoenix a few weeks back. Now trying to get a second win, but really, Hendrick Moser trying to get three of their drivers victory points. And we are past the halfway point. Right now, and they're catching up to the lap car daybreak. PC Kane is down the road. Hopefully, he gets his thing repaired and at least tries to salvage this run. Man, I, th I mean, like, that was some pretty good smoke there. I think he's done. Yeah. Hey, Blaney. He, the leader's topping out 207 on straightaways. He was topping out, I think, 29. That's not. That's not very good. And he's about to get lapped. This time by, what will happen? Will he get out of the way, or will they? Yeah, he'll, he'll yeah. pull him out of the way. Well, will everybody go on the bottom? I don't think he'll really interfere with this much. I don't know if he can interfere with this much. He's so slow that these guys can just drive right around him. Well, never mind. If Gordon just, just, uh, just committed the funky, he is not getting around him. I don't know what Jeff Gordon's doing Maybe right now. Maybe he's saving fuel. Trying to run behind right. and running half throttle a little bit, but even then, you're, you cannot save fuel with like 21 laps to go. I, I don't see and that. I don't see I, I, why he would do that. He just lost a ton of time to the leaders, but we'll see. See what Maybe happens. Magana looking up. on Dale Jr. to get around him. There he goes to the inside. Will he clear him? Looks like he, he will. Well, get around him. Could you like get off me here? Sweating bullets. Bro. Oh, now we got oh we got a big pack of lap cars right here and up here too, and these guys are all battling out trying. To sound I don't know if the leaders out. will get them too long. I think they will if they're top. Oh wait, never no, mind. Yeah, I didn't know this. Okay, okay let's see how fast these yeah. guys are going. Now uh, they're topping in at 200, but they're like six miles an hour off the pace on the straightaway. There we go. Logano is one of the most aggressive drivers in the garage. What will he do to get around them? Oh, Junior's forcing Jun him up the racetrack. Can Junior take advantage of this? Can Shrek take advantage of this? We're gonna run right behind them. These guys are not as slow as uh, Dave Blaney was. Oh, oh, Junior now looking to the inside. Wait a minute. Oh, he's gonna pass all the lap cars. Joey to the outside lane. He's, pit he's pitting. Dale Junior is pitting. And at the end, Hendrick. Hendrick following him. And Marcus Ambrose. Foot cycles. 20 to go. Oh, and they're going to gain a lot of time off this because tire wear is a big issue. Ah. Uh, like, oh. I don't know what that was about, but uh, the feet had a little bit of an issue. But Sir Truex out front now, but now everybody else will have to come down pit road. It's and like Boyer is going to be the next one coming down pit road. Boyer is pulled to the inside lane here. We'll see if he comes down pit road. Other yes, cars. Yeah, oh, he's, Joe he's coming to follow him. So Boyer now to pit road is Logano's maybe going to try to stretch Bunch of lead. cars down pit road. Looks like Dale Jr. will be the first one off pit road back in the front behind him. See, let's side catch up side. with these guys back here. Side by side for the race lead. Back up to that. Well, not well, not anymore. Drex is now down to second. I think these guys are going to pit this time by. We'll see. We'll see. Nope, they entered on the high lane. Does it look like they're going to pit? What about you?
about Jeff Gordon. None of these guys are coming up the road. Annika Patrick now up in the top ten, so along with Kyle Larson. I wonder if they're opting to try to hope for a caution. That's all I can think of, because at Auto Club, such a worn-out track, you're going to lose a lot of time staying out here. I'm trying to find Dale Jr. now. Right now, he is in a pack. Oh, my God. Look at the speed difference. 195 in the middle of the corner. A speed difference on the uh, fresh tires is a major factor. Watch how much slower that these guys' tires are going to go. He's running the high line, trying to keep his momentum up. And Oh, he's already, he's getting ready to unlap himself from some of these people. He is sailing around this, these guys. They're sitting still. Bad man. My man is freaking balling right now. We have 16 to go right now. He's going to follow Denny Hamlin at the oh, bottom lane of, of these old tires. Junior going to try to make it to the inside of him. He's looking down there, but he does not have any momentum. Junebug can't make a pass here, but he'll probably get it done right here. Oh, uh, yeah, there, right there. Oh, my goodness. Look at how fast he is. Oh, my God. Right around him. Oh, wide for a second back there. Yeah, these guys that are still out there, all I can think of is they're for a caution at this point. It's about to be meaningless. 15 to go. Like oh, I think Lano might be the next guy coming down pit road, but Junior is getting ready to unlap himself. It'll be oh, interesting to see where these guys come out because I can imagine they can make it a good solid like five more laps at least on oh, gas. Here comes Truex on pit road, I believe. Yeah, the question just is. Oh, well, he's not coming down pit road. The question is but, when will they pit? Because they can make it quite a bit further than a lot of those guys pitted at, but those guys split the race just about in half. I think that they are just basically hoping the tires are going to Oh my god, they're four wide back there. Yeah, because there's guys like Matt Kenseth on freshies who are trying to move And Ryan Newman and Clint Boyer. Now all of them on freshies and they just can't move up. Look at that Ron Boyer got in Kenseth right there. He's going to push him. Look at your leaders right now. Think Shrex? I don't know. Oh! Oh my god! Bill Jr. getting ready to unlap himself, taking it three wide, trying to get around Logano. These guys are screwing themselves, unless they're gonna short pit or like take no, no tires. It's not really a smart because Junior I think they're is getting ready to awesome. on green. Junior can unlap himself and get this up. I don't know if they make it the whole way back around the track. Just traffic, but if they somehow make it, it's going to be fun to watch Junior Newman and Kenza try to get around them because they are considerably faster. Let's see, Lagana just crossed our finish line. Junior's getting ready to enter turn one. That's how much he gained on them. He just went half a lap. I don't think Trix is going to try to get around him. Look at the 23 goodness. rim riding it. Crossover moves, looking back to the inside of the 22. And he was looking, but he didn't have enough momentum. Kurt Busch is the is in 21st right now. When will the leaders come down the road? They really can't, because everyone's trying to pass him on the inside. Never mind, look at Kozlowski! I think these leaders might try to go to the end, or at least they're... I think at this point they're going to go to the end of their fuel work. My only thought is that they're trying to run long and hope for a caution, but like I just don't understand that mentality. There was no point to do that for these guys running up front. I can understand if like somebody who hasn't run very well in the race um, tries that strategy, but the fact that we have these guys that are running up front doing that makes no sense to me, unless, unless they think they can make it. They're coming to 10 to go. They need it. They might... Might make it, but I don't know. Let's get back up with your Dale Earnhardt Jr. right now. But Clint Boyer is running him down right now. Oh, oh yeah, Boyer's. Oh, uh, yeah. I didn't notice that. Boyer's on his lap. It's four tenths faster. Remember, Boyer think, pitted earlier. Or no, later think, than Junior. Yeah, this could so be the race Boyer. for the lead right now. Boyer has a little fresher tires than Junior, and on top of that, I don't think he spent them as hard battling in traffic. Um, 
So, you know, yeah, we'll see. This could be very interesting for Clint Boyer. Right now, trying to get back up to the front of the field. They're still staying out. Logano leads. Nine laps to go. Look at Tony Stewart. He's getting ready to get up, like, right up against that wall. Never mind. But he's going to push the tricks right now. Let's get back up there with Dale Jr. and Clint Boyer right now. I think Clint Boyer got around him. No, he hasn't. I think Clint Boyer is going to try to push Jr. so that way they can get closer. I think the tires are I equalizing. Tire. I don't think they'll have anywhere near enough time to get to Joe Logano. I think Logano might make it. I mean, sure. that's the only thing I can think of from why the leaders would have stayed out this long is that they're just hoping for a caution. That's all I can think about. I don't see any other benefit to staying out this long. I, once again, I, I would say... Oh, that, Newman! Newman! Oh, no! He was one of the guys that pitted. That, and that's an RCR engine. That's not a Hendrick engine. Oh, is he going to stop? Okay, yeah, Newman's getting towed. Doesn't look like it. I think Newman oh, just no got caution. no caution. That's scary. It's like some of these guys might. Oh, that that's a little terrifying because then some of these guys that might. Oh, Clint Boyer got around Junior. Yep. So Boyer now going to try to drive away here. I don't think they have a chance to get to Joey unless he runs out of gas. But they might get to a top ten. Man, are these guys going much faster? I wonder what the gap is between uh, Boyer and the car in front of him. What position is he in? He's in 14. They're four seconds behind Amarola. Oh, yeah. They are. They're moving. They're but only I, 20 seconds uh, back. I mean, there's six to go. They could get back up. Could. I don't, I don't I, think so. They'd have to gain like four I mean, seconds. Regardless, I was getting older and older every lap. So, but so are theirs. They're going to have to gain. Okay, he might have 38-2. Junior ran at 35. He's three seconds faster. I just don't think there's any chance unless Joey runs out of gas. They have there's to guys seconds, off. but they, they might not make it on you all. Oh, that's going to hold up Boyer a lot, and that's going to hold up Junior too. So, yeah, that's going to hurt their lap time. But we'll see if these guys can make it on gas right I now. I feel like they can. I think I'll they can maybe catch, like, Stenhouse. They might have a chance at the top ten, but I doubt it. Under five to go. There's no way they get up here. And now yeah. I believe the caution comes out under yellow. So Yeah. So really, I think Logano might have this in the bag. If he can make it on gas. If he can make it on gas. He's not going down to the bottom. Try to catch up with it. I think he at least has to try it. He has. I am back. I'm back, LT. Right now, Logano is leading. And he's trying to stretch it on fuel. I think T-Rex might catch him. No, T-Rex is falling back a lot. Jeff Gordon oh. might have had a chance, but I mean, T-Rex has held him up so much. I don't think they'll even have put any sort of a shot at it. Here we go, Boyer. Uh, they're trying to run down Ricky Stenhouse for more positions, but this time by three laps to go. Oh, Logano's up here, Rowan! couldn't make it! He couldn't make it! Oh, this could get interesting here at the end. Joey couldn't make it. Maybe that's why the 78 and 24 were so far back. They've been saving. But we do they have enough? To go. This has turned into an interesting battle already. Can Jeff Gordon take another one? Let's try to see if Mark Dale Jr. is... Oh. oh he won't get the there on... Ball. He won't get there on time, but they might get there... They need, they need um, a bit. They might need a pit. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, oh Jeff Gordon! Oh, he's going Gordon's down. gonna come down pit road. This is gonna leave Martin Truex Jr. with two laps. Oh no! Trying to make it. Can he oh, get the one? Oh, this is not over. Oh no! This. Oh, oh, oh my gosh! Look how much faster they are. They could catch Kyle Larson for second. This is oh, not over. The they are really. They are really slowing now. Like. The rest of the field, especially on tires, they are really slowing. These, they are stretching. Oh, but that's going to hurt uh, Boyer's lap time. 
And that's uh -oh. going to give Junior a chance to get back to him here. That's how you got Let's see. Well, Trex. Trex is staying Let's... out. He might Trex make is it. staying out. I think Larson's staying as well. He will. Yeah, Boyer's going to well. get there, though. Boyer's going to get there to him. It'll be the white flag this time. One lap to go for Martin Truex Jr. Clint Boyer, it looks like, is going to get all the way back to second. But with a four-second gap, I don't see yeah, any way he catches Truex unless he runs out of gas. Oh, Truex is so much slower. What a valiant effort. Oh, my goodness. Boyer is so much faster than him right now, but I don't think it's going to be enough. A valiant effort from the 15 crew. Unless trying to get there to the 78. But for the final time. Oh, he's slowing. He's slowing, isn't he? Not oh, he's enough. slowing? Oh, not no. enough. oh, he's always there, but it's not going to be enough. Martin Trix Jr. wins the Auto Club 400. What a race. Well, uh, Boyer got, got so close. One more lap and he could have had him. Dale Earnhardt Jr. will come home in third. Larson stayed out to finish fourth. Patrick gets a top pop pop fingers pop five. Denny Hamlin finishes sixth. Kislowski seventh. Um, Ambrose, Ambrose ninth was another Michael Waltrip racing car with Brian Vickers, and then Matt Kenseth rounds out top ten. As we hear, Jimmy Johnson eleventh. Jimmy Johnson was coasting across the line. Pagano goes to finish nineteenth. Jeff Gordon twentieth. What a race! An amazing job by Martin Trix Jr. It looks like he is out of fuel right now. What a race. If he had gone any race. slower, gone any up. slower, any other lap car that had held him up, we would have got him. We ran a 36. He was three seconds faster than him. Holy crap. If we had had one more lap, Boyer definitely would have been there in three and four. I'm going to say the replay. What a race. 20 years of trying. What a race. 20 years of trying. 24 cars finish in the lead lap. Austin Dillon finishes 24th. Dead last goes to... Oh. Those two had a header issue. Where was Kyle Busch? Blew an engine. Well, he didn't even... Oh, he didn't even get counted. He didn't even make a lap. Oh. Burn tricks here. Ike's out of win. Definitely. You mean Ike's out of win? Oh, look at look at those point standings over there on the right. Joey Logano had to pit late in this race, and look at that, because Larson was able to stay on the track, he gained a ton of points on him. Here's the thing that we don't you don't know, Pam, though. Like for every driver, because they run different paint schemes, they count them as a different driver. So right now, we had that is the first time we did not have a caution. We had the most lead changes this season, sixteen. Yeah. 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 But Trix led eight laps. The guy that dominated the whole race, Joey Logano, led 30. Dale Earnhardt Jr. led 11. How many people are on the points board? A lot. Let's Same see. Thing. Right right now, it would be 49. Wait, oh, yeah, not. I mean, how many paint schemes do they run? I have 74 cars in this pack, and there's 60 drivers. Okay, so there's, a, yeah, there's, there's some extra paint schemes. Yeah. So I think Jimmy Johnson is still your points leader. But we'll not see. by much. Either way, though, that is going to hurt Joey Logano. And is there any sort of chase format? No. Awesome. Next up is going to be Martinsville. That. STP 500. That's going to be very interesting. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this. See you guys in the next one.